I don't, I don't want the kids to get in the middle of my fight with Jason, and I'm, I'm glad that you feel the same way. I can't believe my dad taught me a lesson. Regardless of how I feel about John Durant, I'm sorry that you lost your father. I knew my father less than two years. Most of the time, I was angry with him for one reason or another, but I love my father. And I appreciate the time I spent with them and Michael and Morgan. Need to know their father, and I could never keep them away from you. The boys need both of us. They gotta know that we're not trying to pull them in two different directions, you know? That we can all, you know, get along, work this out. So, what do we do about the situation between you and me? There is no you and me. Everyone ready to take little John home? Yeah, but doctors think we should wait for mom. I mean, she knows thinking more about babies than we do. Well, that's true. But your mom is on an errand. I don't know how long that's going to take. See? Well, John has been in the hospital all his life. He wants to taste the real world, don't you, little guy? Mm -hmm. A lot of work, Jax. You know, that's why we have a baby nurse back at the apartment. We're not going to be completely on our own. I was on my way to see John. Appears I'm too late. John's going home with his dad. You were the father of my children and before you were the man I loved you were Jason's friend and he admired and respected you and he had faith in you and now that faith is gone and you don't deserve his loyalty any more than you deserve mine Sonny if that's true why did I stand by you during your nervous breakdown Carly because you felt guilty I protected you I did everything I could to get your sanity back. Maybe you did it to make yourself feel better. Or for the children. I know you're all about your children, mainly because they're a reflection of yourself. I love the boys. I know you love the and boys. why are you twisting this around? Because you, me, and Jason, we were connected, Sonny. It didn't matter who we were sleeping with. We were a family, and now that bond is broken. It's broken. Because he stole from me. Oh to get his way. No, Sonny. You broke it. You broke it because you're selfish and you couldn't do the one thing Jason asked after everything he's done for you. I'm sorry for stranding you in the hospital with the boys. No, no, it's fine, really. I mean, the boys are great. They should like to play. <laughs> Yeah, but you just brought John home. I, you don't need my kids here driving you crazy. I'm sorry. No, but you know what? Michael is great. He just he knows a lot about babies. He gave you advice about babies? Yeah, sure did. He was checking out my diaper supply, and, and then he was telling me I had, to, I had to be careful not to overheat the milk. And, and then, then he started grilling Norma, the, the, the baby nurse, about oh. her, her knowledge and, and credentials. Did she quit? No, she didn't quit. She had a very good sense of humor. Besides, she thought that he was delightful. Oh, well, then she's going to be great if she likes my kids. So where are they? Where are the kids? Um, John sat for a nap, and uh, the boys, I locked them in the office to play with my pinball machine. Oh, well, I will see you in a couple days. What? I'm just kidding. Oh, come here. Come here. Hey. Yeah. So, uh, can I go with Sonny? Uh. <laughs> you know, uh, there's going to be a custody battle. I want you to know that. There's not going to be a custody battle. You change your mind? One of the last things my father said to me was how he regretted the wasted time and I can't leave my boys with that kind of regret. What about your anger at Sonny? I completely lost my faith in Sonny. But I can't keep Michael and Morgan away from their father because that wouldn't be right. What about me keeping John from his father? Is that right? 
Some situations are completely different. Yeah, but I'm still keeping John from his real father. Michael and Morgan already know Sonny. And if he suddenly disappears from their lives, they will miss him. And they're going to blame themselves because that's what kids do. But John's just a little baby. He doesn't know that Nicholas is his biological father. So he's never going to miss him. Until he's 18 and I tell him the truth. Which is going to come with some pain and confusion. Do you think it's all worth it? I mean, honest, honestly. I don't know. That's a decision you have to make. But I'm telling you, I will support whatever you decide. I will. You know, every day I'm more convinced that that's what Courtney would have wanted. For John to grow up in a loving home with me, with you, you know, with his extended family, you, Michael, and Morgan. That works for me. Okay. I'm going to have to ask you a huge favor. Well, what's that? My mom keeps calling. She's uh, dying to meet John. Why have you been putting her off? Because I didn't... You know, I want her to get attached to him if I was going to give him up. But now that I'm convinced that John should stay with me, I think it's time for him to meet his grandma. I was hoping that you and the boys would come with me. Well, you know, there's no funeral arrangements to make for my father. And his will, he said he didn't want a ceremony, which is kind of ironic considering the glory hound that he was, you know. Maybe he didn't want you to go to the trouble. Maybe he didn't think anyone would come. Look, if you want to have a ceremony for your father, then we can delay the trip. No, I mean, no, I want to get really... Michael and Morgan out of town. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. I don't want them to see what's going on with Sonny and Jason, and I don't want to see it either. All right, then. I'll make the arrangements. Where are we going? Australia. Great Barrier Reef, Lady Jane's taking the house down there for the season. Oh, so I get to snorkel and swim? In. Absolutely, you'll love it. It's it's beautiful. That's great. I give it to you. I'm gonna <laughs> go tell Michael and Morgan. Hey. Okay. Did you hear that little gentleman? Hmm? We gotta go to Australia, and you're going to meet your grandma Jane. Do you mind? So have you heard from Patrick? Why would I? Sam is my stepdaughter. The more you think about it, the worse it gets. You keep acting as if there's nothing you can do. We're not just going to sit around and watch Sam die.